My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Oh, this is a Sicily. really across the ocean ship. to start a new life in America. That's right, you guys. I had to play this game. I loved part one so much, I just had to start playing part two, and this is it. That's a big tasty sandwich. Like, now Never I want one. Life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. I miss seeing the old classic cars. I wish we still drove that. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. Let me guess, you're in New York City, right? It makes sense. The American dream. Yeah, we're like definitely, nightmare. we're definitely in New York because of the rats. Hey, yo, my father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. You saw the windows? It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. <laughs> You don't hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run the shoot! Shit. Okay, uh -huh. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the... I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? That's wild. Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind them the lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the field. What is this, a public execution? Come on now, this is wild. Alright, hold to aim, right? So right here, right? Shit! Got it! I got it! Move! There you go! There you go. Woo, that was a good shot. I'm surprised I even did it myself. Come on. Let's move. All right. On me. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your co comments below. Because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, Please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Got it. Got it. Let's go. I almost got killed. That guy with that minigun is no joke. Alright, let's go. Whoa, chill. All right. 
Where he at? There you go. Got one. All right, take cover by window by pressing X. We're moving towards it. You got a grenade, Stiletto. This is gonna be a great fucking time to use. Put a grenade through the window. Got it. Boom, baby. Now let's blow. Oh, right on the missile. Wow, that's crazy. I'm surprised. I'm surprised this whole building didn't collapse because I threw that grenade right on the missiles. Yeah, just about. Well, then get off your ass and let's move it. Oh yeah, they're dead. Wow. Hell yeah, I'll do that. Let's go. What else? Ooh, this is nice. Wow, look at all this ammo. These guns. Alright, I should be good, right? Should I? Would I? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Oh, take cover behind the wall by pressing X. Let's go. On the stairs! Got it. There you go. There you go. Alright. The controls are a little bit awkward for me, but I'll survive. I mean, I'm not dead yet, so. Alright. Yep. So. Got you. Woo! This is. This is crazy. So this is what it's like. Alright, let me see, let me see. Nothing here? Alright, so we gotta keep going this direction. Right Got you! Next! Who else? You? Pop out! Right up, right in the hip, right in the hip, let's go. The door's going. Kick it in. Got you. Um, press O to kick. Shut up! Woo! Ooh! Why are you standing there, bro? You're gonna get shot and killed. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Alright, let's go. Ooh! Oh, man. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but YOLO, I guess. Right? Yeah, yellow. There you go. Yellow. Come on. Next. Who else is shooting me? Are we good? Yeah, we good. Let's go. This balcony isn't gonna work. We gotta keep moving. All right. Oh no! Is he okay? You're gonna die out there. Oh no, he's dead. What the hell? Oh! Oh! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! This is this is not it. Where's the machine gun? Oh, right here. Oh, this is wild. I don't know if I'm even I'm not even shooting straight, but whatever. Give me the illusion that I'm doing something. Thank you. There you go. Oh, there goes the food stand. No. Come on. Come on. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me kill more people. Let me kill more people. Yeehaw. There you go. Yo, this place is about to blow. Let's run. Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto. Wow, they killed all my comrades and I'm going to be next. Is this how I go? Is this how I die? Wow, I've been saved by plot armor. Che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Uno petto da fare. Ehi, davvero Don Carlo? Quello è finito. Cacetto. Un congegno non sa mai da come cucina. 
Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Wow, he's badass. That's the biggest, buffiest train I've ever seen. Oh, look, I'm home from the war. Yay, going to see my mommy and my daddy and my sister. How cute. A Can't few wait years for the later, reunion. the Nazis put a bullet in me. Damn. I was in the hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Damn Nazis. I hate those people. Let's normalize punching Nazis, shall we? Fino! Over here! Joe! What? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. First of all, nice car. He, he's Coming the only the one that I know came you're rich in a get home, but first, home party? let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. That's sad. How come my family didn't welcome me home? Like, where's where's my familia? Come on now. I mean, no offense, I appreciate Joe. There it is, Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, no. Hey, bad shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, wow, you know, that says a lot. Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit, Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. That's what a sad. Country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Salud. Chin down. Well, I'm just glad someone was looking forward to seeing me. Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? Mm -hmm. The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. What now? I'm just here chilling. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the guy... Uh-oh, he's, uh, he's getting... He's getting a little... Scaletta. Horny. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. Wow, my boy really wants me home. He really cares about me. Fly. You're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you want a ride? 
No thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Look at her. Hello. That lady was really checking him out. She was liking what she see. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Two dollars and twenty-five cents. Is that expensive? I think it's cheap. Little Italy. Okay. So the burger joint is right here. I really don't like the the sound effects when it comes to showing me the objections. Like Wow, this is nice. Okay, the jewelry shop's right here. I do appreciate how the snow looks on the ground. It definitely does feel like it's very compounded. And I miss seeing the beautiful cars. I really do. Okay, so we got the classic person holding a newspaper, of course. Dipped in apparel. Oh, a clothing store. This is cool. So, yeah, it seems like my buddy here was the only one who was really excited for me to come home. And the sad part is, why didn't my mom show up or my sister? Did they not know I was coming home? Maybe that's it. Oh, wow, look, look at the, the footprints on the snow. Okay, I see you. Uh, yeah? Hey, What's up? Closing the shop? You know how it is. Can't afford to stay in business. Oh wow, that sucks. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the war's not your fault, you know. Who knows? Maybe when the war ends, I'll be proper. Well, uh, good luck then. Hey, thanks, kid. Anytime. Wow, that sucks. His store is closing down because of the war. What else is closing down? This is sad. I see a fellow, a fellow soldier. How you doing? Something Salute. Like do for you, soldier? Not much. Just want to say hi. That's all. What? What the heck? Someone just threw random garbage out the window like that? That could have hit me. And someone's fighting. So this is it. I'm going to my mom's apartment. Hello, Gatita. How you doing? Ew. Fuck you too, asshole. See, this is why you got... That's why you broke your ass. That's so mean. I'm trying to say hi. Hi, Mama. I'm back. <laughs> Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I just never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made oh. a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. S uh, chicken soup. Hell yeah, give me some. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. Mm. He would be so proud, Vito. The dead yeah. beat dad, right? Sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. All right, let's pray. Benedice, Signore, pronunciare la tua volontà. Siamo a Cirenni, provvedere nel cuore di Cirenni. Cristo, nostro Signore. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Really? You didn't even bother to rearrange it or even use it for extra storage? I'm surprised. You guys miss me that much? Hey, sis. Uh, so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, Wait, we don't what? Want to talk about that now. Why do you mean debts? First of all, if someone dies, you're not responsible for his debts. Why are you paying? That's bull. How are you, mio bambino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm it okay, was Mama. wild. 
I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. Yeah, there you go. Tell tell her that. I didn't kill anyone. I just, you know, drove around and did a couple of fist fights. That's it. All right. Wow, the bathroom's nice. Okay. Toilet's okay. Okay, so what's this one? Is Okay, so that's the front door. So I assume this must be the room. Wow, this was my room. Okay. I mean, it's pretty dark, I'm not gonna lie. And a random toy horse is right in the corner staring at me, but... Not too bad. A room's a room, I guess. I see you two in the morning. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. I mean, you just got there, so you definitely have time. Get dressed, okay. Let me see what outfits I have here. A leather jacket? Okay, what's next? Ooh, wait, Tommy Angelo's pinstripe suit? Tommy! I miss Tommy so much. Lincoln Clay's comeback jacket. Oh, wow, this is nice. Leather jacket with a shirt. You know what? I'm gonna I'm do this one. Alright, how do I look? Let me see. Do I look cute? Do I look like I can impress the ladies? Yeah. Alright, let's go. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe, you want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. And die? Exactly. You want me to die? Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. No. I promise? Your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. My thing is, why, wanna, why would I want to work like my, my dad, who ended up being a drunk, and basically didn't even help us at all? Okay, so I assume my sister's at work, and according to the clock, it's 10.10. They really had a one-bedroom apartment, though? That's crazy. Okay, I'll leave. Let me get a nice little look in the mirror. Hey, look at that. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Should I be nosy enough to go upstairs? Yeah, I should, right? Wow, this is a cute apartment. Okay. All right, let me let me stop wandering around and let me go to Joe. Even though I promised my mom I was going to get a quote unquote a union job. Ooh. Are you good? Oh, okay. All right, let me head out. Let me head out. How far away is Joe's place? I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll get if you got to sell hey, everything I you got. What the hell's going on here? Hey, no. You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh yeah. Punch him. <sighs> Come on, Junior. Come on. Take you to there school. you go. Oh. Oh God. wow. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Yeah. Show me what there you, you go. There you go. Come on. Please. There you go. It even worse. How? He's harassing my sister. He needs a beating. There you go. And what? Come on. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. Come on. Ooh. Please, Fido, what are you doing? Be I'm trying to save your life. Wait, how you dodge again? Okay, come on. Come on. Psych. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Let's. Ooh. 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 Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, okay. Come on. Light hit. Let's go. There you go. 
Bro, he was harassing you. Why would I care about that? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, baby! Don't mess with my sister ever again! Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What? What was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Uh, what? Me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? What? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Damn, my Thanks, dad Vito. is really a deadbeat. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Wow, my dad ain't shit. My dad ain't shit. So not only is he a bum using all the money to pay for his alcohol addiction, but he had the audacity to loan more money, possibly knowing that he won't be able to pay. Okay, so where am I going? Go to Joe's place. Okay. There you go. And now that my dad is conveniently dead, my mom and sister are struggling to pay off his debt, which doesn't make any sense because if someone dies, shouldn't the debt be erased because the person who took out the money should solely be responsible for it? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But that is really selfish, and he has a lot of nerve to do that to his own wife and kid. Like, seriously. Sorry, I know, I'm sorry, I almost got run over. But that's crazy, though. No wonder Vito has such resentment towards his dad. Shoot, I have resentment right now towards this man. And he's not even my real dad. Damn, look at the hole in the wall. Yeah, this is definitely New York. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so where he at? Um, He ain't down here, is he? Nah, he's not down here. Probably upstairs, right? Exit. That's Danny. No. Oh, man, I don't even know where he is, Billy. I just love how they have the names on the door, too. Oh, hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. Racket? Oh, no. Remember in part one where the neighbor complained about the racket and somehow Polly got killed? I really hope Joe's not dead. Because I can't even at this point, you feel me? Joe? Oh, that racket. Okay. <laughs> this is a bad time. <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. Now, you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. 
Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> 20 bucks a week? I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.